Do you have or want a bill approval process to use with QuickBooks for your organization? New in QuickBooks Enterprise 2022, which is available now, offers a bill approval system so that your bills can get approved based on your specific criteria you set. In this tutorial, learn how to set up rules for QuickBooks to check which bills need approval for entry and payment. Users are then prompted to send bills for approval. First, we need to set up and define the approval process. Go to Company Menu and select Set Up Approval Processes. You'll need to sign into your Intuit account if you've not already done so. This takes you to a screen showing the benefits of bill approval and the diagram of the process. Select Get Started, then set up in the bill template card. Again, you may need to sign into your Intuit account. Only users who are admin and or master admin in the Intuit account can create an approval process. You are now looking at the bill approval process creation screen. Keep in mind that you can set up multiple approval processes for a specific type of transaction, but you can only activate one rule at a time. I will show you what I mean by this after we've created our first bill approval. One other thing before we start the approval process setup, I notice that the approver must be set up in QuickBooks with either the role of admin, which isn't going to work for most of us, or to give the user an accounts payable role. I'll take you there so you can see how I set up Barry with the user role. That was the only way I could get more than admin to show in the action window. To start, enter the name and description for the process. I will enter bill amount greater than 3000. Next, enter the conditions for your bill. When you want to trigger the approval process, you have three types of conditions to define. Bill amount, vendor name, and vendor type. I will choose amount greater than and type in 3000. I can also choose the vendor name or names to include or exclude. I can also add conditions based on my vendor type, which is set up from the vendor center as shown here. Next, under Actions, choose a user who will approve the bill. Choose a user to send an email notification to. You can change the reminder email to the number of days before the approval will get an email notification. Here, you can customize the email subject and message also, add the email address to send the no notifications to someone other than the approver. Select Save to Activate Later or Save and Activate. And the approval process will activate for any newly created bills. Click OK. To reiterate, this rule will only take effect on newly created bills. Existing bills still follow any previous process if any had been activated. You can edit, deactivate, or delete a template from the Approval Processes tab. You cannot delete a created process if you have bills which need to be approved. You're asked to delete the bills first. Afterward, you can delete the process. If you deactivate the created bill process, newly created bills won't require approval. Existing bills still need to be approved. If I try to set up another new approval process and activate, 
I will get an error message to deactivate my current approval before the new one can be activated. Now let's enter a bill and save. Since our bill is over $3,000, QuickBooks identifies this bill for approval requirement. If you are not signed into an Intuit account, you will be asked to log in. I tried this bill pay quite a few times and I wasn't getting the bill appro approval screen. And I realized that bills created by the admin will not flow through the approval process. So basically you wanna be signed in as someone other than the admin in order to get the bill process approval to work. Select send for approval to send the bill for approval or select save as draft to save the bill in a draft state. If you do this, it won't affect the register while it's in a draft state. I will click send for approval and a pop-up confirms it was sent. Click OK. Next, we need to approve the bill. So the approver selects track and approve transactions from the company menu. You know the drill. If you're not signed into the Intuit account, you'll be asked to do so. You'll see the transactions assigned to you with the following statuses. Pending shows the bills are awaiting your approval. Rejected shows bills you denied. Approved shows all approved bills. All shows every bill regardless of status. Select each pending bill, then select approve to approve the transactions or select reject to deny. Now that we've just watched the bill approval video, we're going to talk about the other new features in QuickBooks Enterprise. The next feature is the enhanced computing power is now at 64 bit. This will accomplish all your accounting tasks faster with a quicker, more reliable QuickBooks. Next is e-commerce for QuickBooks with Webgility. You can track your revenue from different selling platforms like Amazon, eBay, and Shopify and sync directly into QuickBooks. Help simplify e-commerce management and gain a clear picture of your profitability. The next one is to pay vendor bills online. Schedule and pay bills faster within QuickBooks. Use the funding source you want and in the digital or physical form your vendors want. The next feature is to customize and email bill payment stubs. You can maintain professional and consistent communication by emailing customizable bill payment stubs to your vendors. You can attach documents to transactions. You can do this faster by directly uploading them via the QuickBooks desktop mobile app. Add multiple customer contacts to your batch emails. You can send emails more quickly by choosing the right recipients from a list of customer or vendor contacts. Reduce miscommunication resulting from manual entry of email addresses. The next one is the instant deposit for payment users. Get your money instantly when customers pay you, even late nights, weekends, and holidays. Quickly and easily collect payments for items that you do not require an invoice by sending a payment link. That's the end of our tutorial on bill workflow approvals. Please watch our next tutorial on Intuit QuickBooks Desktop new 2022 vendor bill pay feature. Thank you so much for watching.